and and Vicor Miller asks, what is a diff? What is about? What is about the height difference between the condensing unit and the evaporator? Condensing unit below the evap or condensing unit above the evap? Surely this should also be considered. Um, yeah, and that question just been put on the screen. So yeah, it, it's it's height difference is a huge issue. Obviously, again, we've got to maintain that correct velocity, both in the liquid line and the suction line. Again, coming back to this this point that I always sort of labor is if we get the velocity right in the suction line, then we will get oil back to our machine. Um, if we've got a vertical riser, so we are, uh, you know, uh, if the pipes are, are going vertical, if it's coming, if the evaporator is above the condensing unit and the suction line is coming back, then the oil is going to flow. If the condensing unit is above the evaporator, then we need oil traps in that suction line riser. Uh, and there's there's various rules of thumb as to, you know, is it every two meters, is it every, every four meters? Um, some people put them, uh, if you're going through a, a building, let's say generally people hide them within the uh, the the fabric of the building so they're about every sort of four meters um keep your velocity right and you know think about it logically we've got to get oil oil back to that machine so that is the the most important so we've got to keep that velocity right um you know if you were to say to me i've got 100 meters between the condensing unit which is on top of a building and the evaporator which is on the basement um i would say no that to me is common sense. Um, to others, maybe not so, but uh, yeah, it is important. And I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges in today's sort of built environment is where we can put the condensing unit compared to where the cold room is. Um, noise is a constant issue these days. Um, where do we site that that unit? Um, you know, can it go on the uh, on the street? Can it go on the pavement? Can it go on the roof? Can it go on the side of the building? Um, always challenges with that. Again, we have to have this balance between what is practical, as in where do we put the unit, and will it function? Um, always a difficult discussion because you know when you are uh, getting involved with the local governments and, uh, and and things and they'll tell you exactly where that unit can go and where it can't go then you have to have a balance between what is practical uh, and what is feasible so uh, yeah hope that answers that question uh, Victor